Good morning, everybody. There's the most beautiful scent permeating the veranda and inside the cottage because the cordelines are flowering and they're absolutely stunning. The scent is just delirious. It's, uh, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Anyway, um, we are approaching midsummer and it's a huge celebration for me. It's something that I I look forward to each year in the same way as I look forward to celebrating all the Celtic festivals um, that begin at Samhain. So we have Samhain and Imok and Bealtaine and Lunasa. And in between we have these wonderful sun, light, light festivals of midwinter, the solstice, and midsummer, the solstice. But I really wanted to have a little chat about what is in the news at the moment. And I'm not talking about the world of, you know, craziness. But this final admittance of UFOs. Now, of course, UFOs in themselves, uh, the people who speak about them, have sort of got a, a, a bit of a wacky name, a bit of a, um, a wacky characterization, simply because it's, it's, a, it's an area of, of investigation that has been very poorly um, talked about. It's been talked about um, from a level of sort of ignorance in many ways or, you know, people think, oh, those stories are just unbelievable. But in this 18-year-long 18 18 long journey here at Bealton Cottage, the main, um, the main change within me personally has been the development of consciousness. Now, living on my own in quite a remote place, um, planting trees, staying very close to the earth, observing the sky, observing the seasons, observing the life that was here, um, the life that has burst forward here, all of that has impacted upon me. But the one aspect of knowing that I have changed my mind on has been that of other worlds, other beings and other life forms. You see, I used to regard it simply as, oh, well, um, this is Earth and, you know, people have to look like us. Other life forms have to look like us. You know, seeing everything through this crazy prism of uniformity. And, of course, that didn't lead me anywhere in terms of developing any kind of a view on what lies beyond. There's an aspect to this which I would call threads and I explored many aspects of UFOs and, and life beyond this beautiful earth in my book Walking Between Worlds. Simply because I now realise that there is a multi-dimensional aspect to this life. 
that I suppose in past religious traditions, um, those who became hermits and those who dedicated their lives to trying to understand the spiritual nature of life, explored and gained knowledge, gained knowledge on. Knowledge, of course, is a sort of deep inner wisdom that, that sometimes bears no resemblance at all to um, what is pertinent in the world of man. Knowledge takes you into different realms. Even just, you know, reading an historical novel, the knowledge and, and the words in that book will take you into a different realm. And that's just on a very basic level. So you can imagine how people long ago viewed the world that they lived in and were not trapped in this tiny consciousness which we're sort of forced to live within now. You know, th there are boundaries and limits. So in my book, Walking Between Worlds, I tried to break away from that and I tried to go into the multi-dimensional view of life. Simply because over 18 years of living here and living so close to nature and so close to the skies and the seasons, <coughs> the whole view of the world that I held when I first arrived in 2004 has changed dramatically. I have seen night skies where what I was looking at didn't make sense. I have stood outside in, in, in the dark, deep recesses of the night, sometimes with friends and family, sometimes around a celebratory cer ceremonial fire, celebrating those wonderful um, Celtic festivals. And we've all seen things in the sky that simply did not make sense. Not in... In, in the way that we see the world, that we live in the world, that we view the world. Not in the way that's dictated. It's very much dictated how we view the world. You know, the, the, there, are, <clears throat> there are guidelines and parameters all laid down. And, 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 this, and this prism is, is constructed very much by the powers that be, that have always ruled the world, that have always held sway, that have always dictated how we see life. And I can tell you with certainty, life is far more complex and far more exciting than your wildest dreams could ever imagine. And much of what's happening in the world today is like a sideshow to take our eyes off what is real and to make us focus on a man-made scenario.